Hello gentlemen, welcome to our video on expressing solution concentrations, this is section 13.4. I want to start today off with a question. How can the concentration of a solution be expressed? Well, we have two major ways. We have qualitative expressions and quantitative expressions. Qualitative expressions are those using words, things like, you know, a solution is diluted or it's concentrated. Whereas a quantitative expression has to be something done mathematically using numbers. Our focus today is going to be on the quantitative expressions of how we can express solutions. The first way we can do it is using mass percentage. This is very similar to um, percent composition uh, that we studied earlier in the year. So mass percentage is the mass percent of a component can be calculated by taking the mass of a component in solution, so the mass of maybe your solute in solution, and dividing it by the total mass of the solution, multiplying times 100. You can find the mass percent of a certain solute in solution or a certain solvent in solution. A second ex way to express concentration is parts per million or parts per billion. Parts per million is of a magnitude of 10 to the 6, per billion, 10 to the 9th. Very similar to above. If we take parts per million of a component, it can be calculated by taking the mass of my component in the solution and dividing it by the total mass of the solution. Only difference here is that we multiply times 10 to the 6th to get parts per million. If it was parts per billion, you multiply times 10 to the 9th. Now, a little bit about parts per million. This also applies to parts per billion. Just substitute one number. A one part per million solution. What that means is this. It contains one gram of solute for each one million grams of solution. And one million is 10 to the 6th. For parts per billion, it will be one gram for every 10 to the ninth grams, or a billion grams of solution reached. Those are two ways we can express our concentration. Another way, you can look at mole fractions, molarity, and molality. These are concentrations that involve units of moles. We've talked about two of the three already. A mole fraction, if you remember, the mole fraction of a component given by that symbol. So we're talking about the mole fraction of A. The mole fraction of A is going to be the moles of my component A, given by N sub A, divided by the total moles of all components of that mixture, or that solution in this case, which will be given by total moles N sub T there. That's the mole fraction. If you remember, the sum of the mole fractions of all the components should equal 1. That's one way to check if you're on the right track. Do all of your mole fractions come together to make one. This is great for talking about the concentrations of gases. Your second, or sorry, this is going to be your, that was your third, this is your fourth way to express concentration is molarity. We've done this one before. Molarity represented by uppercase M is moles of solute over liters of solution. This is great for aqueous solutions. And our last one, is molality. This one's different. Kind of sounds like molarity, but we have an L there. Molality. This is moles of your solute. This is given by lowercase m. Moles of your solute divided by kilograms of solvent. So that's what's different between molarity and molality is the denominator here. So moles of solute divided by your kilograms of your solvent. Now a little bit about, about molality. Molarity depends on the volume of solution whereas molality depends on the mass of your solvent in kilograms. Molality does not vary with temperature because it's mass dependent. And since mass doesn't vary, molality won't vary if the temperatures change. Molarity does vary with temperature. Since it's moles per liter of solution, that can be liters of gas or liters of your, your, your entire liquid solution, and those can expand and compress a bit with temperature changes. So molality can change your temperature. So we often will use molality as a unit of expressing our concentrations if we're going to be looking at a solution over a range of temperatures. So if we're going to heat it up from one point to another and we want to keep a constant um, concentration, we will analyze it in terms of molality and not molarity. All right, gentlemen. Watch the video, take notes, come up with questions, be ready to do some practice. Adios.